All right, I'm logging in here to show a quick prototype of a warden-based minigame that I've been working on. I'm a spectator for a minute. This is a map-based game where the player is going to be trying to navigate a maze with two wardens after them in complete darkness. If you look at this map here, black areas are walls. Dirt areas will be areas that the player and the warden can navigate. And red areas are passageways that the player can get through, but the warden cannot. Um, I believe that knowing the layout is not going to be any big advantage, but we're leaving it there. Now, this game will be kind of honor system. It comes a lot easier with waypoints and any number of things, like a mini HUD and stuff. So I'm going to turn all of that off right now. The player will be allowed to bring anything they want in including, uh, let's make sure my sounds are all the way up, including Enderpearl, sound makers, anything they want. One more thing. It's still playing with it, but up here, there will be several skulk sensors that may trigger devices to alert the warden. So, get back over here and we'll kind of get the experience of what we are doing. This is prototype test one. can't hear me. My instinct is to stay completely quiet. The ceiling and the walls are black concrete and the floor is polished black stone slabs. The dynamic lighting means I can use whatever block I bring to see and because it's slabs I'm going to run a minecart under afterwards, which means anything the player wants to bring in, they can bring. It should be recovered, but it's probably not going to be that big of an advantage. These can smell me. Oh god. there. Now right now I have the entrance to the treasure room marked out with some polished black stone. These walls are wool. And then you would need to get out. Now any treasure I'd provide would be in the form of a voucher which would then be redeemed later, so there's no taking the treasure out. So a couple ideas how to increase the difficulty of this. I may make the skulk sensors trigger some sounds in strange locations. Right now it's not too bad. If they detect you, they're going to hit you through the walls, is the big thing. That waypoint is really useful right now. I should probably get rid of it. Oh, I'm totally lost. Right now, we're going to call this a proof of concept. I wasn't sure if two wardens was too much. That's the exit. That's it. Puff. Try it again. That's a... So they're separated. very much. Okay. 
I, I had thought about adding something geez, that required a switch. Oh, he found me. I'm dead. They don't go off. I'm touching them basically is not ideal. If I jump though, let's just see what happens. Boom. Let's try it again. I'm not sure how the size of the map and the number of wardens is going to play out. So right now this is definitely still... ...on site. Any sound though in your gun. Now I thought it'd be a fun idea to let the player bring in pearls and potions and stuff, because you really don't have a lot of line of sight in here. you're in, it is very disoriented. This would be a time to have a pearl. Oh, he's got... I'm doomed. Goodbye. So anyway, concept. Very much still an idea. Once you're in here, you can see they have a couple of spots where the ceiling is lowered, so they cannot chase you, but it's not really a big advantage to know where those are. And the fact that there's kind of two maps overlaid, one where you can travel and one the warden can travel, means it's not that big of an advantage to know the map ahead of time. So, because the whole floor is just slabs, it'd be real easy to run minecarts under it and just scoop up items. So the player can bring in anything except thorns, really. I don't want them hurting the wardens. They're free to roam. Still thinking about what mechanics I could do. Something where you have to hit a button to open this would be real difficult. That would make the whole thing have to be resettable, kind of like decked out, but it's definitely not out of the question. Anyway, this is kind of the prototype 1.0 idea, just playing with the mechanism. I think there's definitely something here to play with. Have a good one.